Good night, brothers and sisters. Good night. Good night to you wonderful, beautiful, beautiful people of the United Progressive Party and this lovely country of ours, Antigua and Barbuda. I am extremely happy to be here in Rangers territory and St. John's Rural South. And maybe soon, this could be City South constituency as well. But wherever Otters, Newtown, and the Radio Range go, Rural South and the City South, we will be winning and we will be in the winning column for the United Progressive Party. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to say to you that I'm a proud son of St. John's City South. I wonder if any one of you know that the five national heroes hail from the St. John City South constituency. Well, St. John City South has a rich history of excellence. We have a history of progress. We have a history of pride. And those things have been absent on the stewardship of the present representative. Now, as the next representative for St. John City South, that same excellence, progress, and pride will be back. I do not believe in defending criminals, but we all know who do, who does. I do not get myself involved in fraudulent matters, but we all know who has. No one has ever published my name in the newspaper for the improper use of funds. But as I have always done and will continue to do, I will champion the cause for a better St. John City South. I will champion the cause for a new St. John City South. And I will champion the cause for a proud and the progressive St. John City South. Our party, the United Progressive Party, is sensitive, of course, to my constituents' concerns. And we know that having a recreation facility is among the top concerns for our people in Belmont. But rest assured that in term three, this will be realized. The building in Belmont, Belmont that was started for the purpose of housing a recreational center will be given renewed focus. And I want to commend my predecessor, Brother Lenward Johnson, who did an excellent job in those communities. And I will continue where he left off. Several development projects had to be suspended due to the lean time that we had coming out of the 2008 financial meltdown. But brothers and sisters, those days are behind us. So yes, we will complete the recreation center in Belmont. We will also be looking at the adjoining land to put it on to the public use for recreational purposes as well. This is a promise you can bank on. This is the kind of progress the United Progressive Party will deliver. I am deeply rooted in the community development. And this philosophy feeds the development agenda that I have embarked upon at the political level. Our team is presently building a skill database from within the constituency. And as the representative for a better St. John City South, I want to positively shape our people's lives. Now, a skill database will allow us to use the resource persons or people around us to tackle remedial improvements. Be they on the basketball court, on the football field, in the home of a senior citizen, or on a special community development project. This is part of giving back in some way to our community. 
I will give support to the many positively grounded community groups in the constituency. I will support them in a variety of ways without imposing myself, myself on them because they must have a say in how the constituency is developed. Brothers and sisters, I will be an MP who will advocate on my constituents' behalf. I will be an MP who will have an MP office in the constituency. I will be an MP who will encourage economic independence instead of in economic dependence. And this is in the heart of the United Progressive Party and its people first philosophy. My team is also helping people with small businesses. Ideas to, by directing them to government agencies like the Antigua and Barbuda Investment Authority and also the Antigua and Barbuda Development Bank for guidance. But even more than that, we are also developing a small business project within the constituency. This seems to give, seeks to give a leg up for self-help and to self-empowerment to our people. It includes advisory services on the feasibility of a business project. And it also involves the encouragement of resource pooling for cooperative or partnership ventures. These are some of the things that make up my development agenda for better representation, for people empowerment, and a better constituency. They also mark the real differences between the candidates of the United Progressive Party and the Antigua Labour Party. The United Progressive Party's candidates and leaders are progressive and credible. We have the leadership that matter under the Honorable Dr. Baldwin Spencer. The ALP leadership, my brothers and sisters and candidates, squandered our resources. They are untrustworthy and they do not have a history of fairness and reward based upon merit. The stewardship of the medical benefit, the social security scheme, the free trade zone and the APUA are just a few examples of the misery the ALP unleashed on us. Do we want to go back there? Do we want to go back there? Are we not going back there? We are not going back there. And at this time and in this place, the choice is as clear as day. It is Baldwin Spencer and the United Progressive Party all the way. Yes, it is Baldwin Spencer and the United Progressive Party all the way. My brothers and sisters, we will stand firm for a third term. We will stand firm for a third term and we will win the third term. At first, the ALP said the United Progressive Party couldn't last six months. Then they said one year. And then they said only one term. But these two terms, my brothers and sisters of the United Progressive Party's rule, will certainly earn us a third term. Or we not go back there. We cannot go back there. We have a third term ahead of us, my brothers and sisters. We have a third term in which, among other things, the strengthening of the community management system for a number of our sporting facilities will be a focus. In our third term, deepening the arrangement for the development opportunities of our, our elite athletes in partnership with the non-government organization community will be put under the microscope. For third term, in partnership with the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Sports will seek to get this country's youth moving through more 
physical activities. We must tackle head on childhood obesity, one of the biggest threats to the future of our healthcare service and our economy. We must also challenge our older population to keep moving. We must reduce the incident of kidney diseases, heart-related diseases, and others that are a result of the lack of physical exercise and poor diet. We commit, my brothers and sisters, through this coordinated approach to give greater concessionary support and continue to the non-profit sporting groups for the importation of sporting equipment, etc. Our third term is about setting in motion the essentials for longer life and more pro productivity in our society. Our third term is about setting in motion the essentials to build a healthier person so that we can help a healthier society and a healthier country. This is the vision, my brothers and sisters, of Baldwin, Spencer, and the United Progressive Party. This is the development agenda of Baldwin, Spencer, and the United Progressive Party. This is the people first mission of Baldwin, Spencer, and the United Progressive Party. So brothers and sisters, stand firm, stand firm, stand firm for a third term. Leadership matters, believe you me, leadership matters. And the Baldwin Spencer has the leadership that matters. The UPP has the leadership that matters. So on election day, my brothers and sisters, you make sure that is the United Progressive Party all the way. God bless you. God bless the United Progressive Party. And God bless our lovely country of Antigua and Barbados. Until I come again, thank you all very much. <laughs>